If there is any country worldwide where hunting brought to life almost extinct animals and restored the populations of other species threatened with extinction, this is for sure the Republic of South Africa. In today's episode, we will participate in unforgettable travel on the African continent. We will see the result of many years of efforts made by the hunting community and the government authorities aimed in the right direction towards developing trophy hunting and restoring the populations of precious hunting species. You will get to know the one because of whom white and black rhinoceros are not already extinct worldwide. The person thanks to whom predator cats are not noxious game. Today we will be hunting in a territory where we know there are species exotic to Africa, namely wild boar, fallow deer, mouflon, barbary sheep, sika deer, axis deer, and multi-horned sheep. In addition to these animals, the territory contains all springbok species that are available in South Africa. Maybe you know Gary Bogner, the hunter. Good job, Gary. One of the dinosaurs among the bow hunters. The three of us, with his girlfriend Deb, have walked around tens of hunting destinations and have achieved incredible achievements in bow hunting. It is not by chance that the U.S. Congress proclaimed him officially as ambassador of bow hunters around the world. Yeah, there's games back in here, there's eland in here, and fowler, water, wildebeest, buffalo, crop, sable. And she went into a very, very thick, thick place, uh, broken branches, big tree, trees around her. And uh, we just had to take the shot there, it was a difficult shot. It, it is probably one of the most exciting uh, adventures that I've had. Uh, uh, a lioness is certainly a challenge, whether it's a gun or a bow. And this crew was fantastic at tracking. I saw tracking I've never seen before. Uh, we had an encounter last night, just before dark, at uh, maybe 15 yards or so. How heavy arrows did you use for the lioness? Six, 650 grains. Mm -hmm. I think they were. And for that water buffalo? I used these arrows. The same? Yes. Yes? We came to a different area yesterday and uh, there's some very good buffalo in this area. So Gary and I uh, put up a little pop-up line and we were lucky enough that we had two bulls coming into this area and uh, it was a bit of a tricky shot there but uh, we waited them out and uh, this big old bull over 40 inches gave us a broadside shot and uh, Gary put a big broadhead into the buffalo, beautiful penetration big old bull, big bosses, very wide, one tip broomed off and it's all about age and uh, we've got about a 2,000 pound animal lying here with us Gary and uh, yeah, very very well done, followed him up, he was down already but uh, we were limited with time yesterday and the sun was going down so uh, put an insurance arrow into him uh, both arrows went through the chest cavity and he was down in about not even a minute after that second arrow and uh, again from our side well done and uh, that bow performed unbelievably compliments to Hoyt compliments to the shafts and uh, compliments to the broadheads yep. and uh, these two blades are Unbelievable, they perform an elephant, any thick skinned animal. The penetration is just unbelievable. Yeah, and these full metal jacket uh, Eastern uh, big game arrows are pretty, pretty darn tough and easy to work with to weight. And we were using about 825 grains, and, yeah. and, and uh, at 80 pounds, you were getting it all the way to the fletch, and you can't ask for any more than that for 80 pounds. <laughs> That's exactly right and it just shows you with the modern technology and especially Hoyt 
what they're building now is, is unbelievable. You know, the kinetic energy we're getting out of these things is just magnificent. Well done, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Big, big old boy. Good shot, you're a champion. day here. Uh, Mark brought us to quite a place and it's been quite a day. This is uh, our fourth animal for the day and I don't recall uh, ever taking four wild species in, uh, in one day and that's what we have. Uh, we have uh, two of the sheep family and uh, a black and a copper springbok. And uh, the shot, you, when you watch this video footage, you'll see just a hair high because he dropped down and it was so dark they couldn't see the pin. But uh, the boys found the arrow. Next thing they found some spots. Then they found the whole splatter. And then about uh, 20 yards later, there he laid. And uh, he's been dead all this time. But it certainly brings uh, a memorable day to a conclusion. And I think it's. Uh, Time to go home and have a drink. But uh, this is the last animal of 17 days, and it uh, provided quite a little excitement and adventure today. The owner of the property told us that he had some pigs on the back of the property and that they were European. And he described them, and Sonny said, Yes, that does sound like European pigs. We snuck in on it, and we had a perfect shot uh, opportunity, and didn't take it. And then the pig started to uh, leave, quartering away, and the old man slipped up and made a very bad shot right in the midsection high under the spine, and the chase was on. And my eyes about rolled out of my head when I saw this big black object set in the water puddle I saw it setting right in the water. And ending uh, our 17 day safari, uh, <laughs> we were just discussing, uh, we come here with the goal to uh, try and get six um, approved exotics under the uh, SEI ward system. And uh, there is some uh, animals that are on the list to maybe be approved, but there's not enough numbers been taken. We're going to be able to add to those numbers. I believe we now have a total of 12 uh, species of animals that we've accomplished to in taking on this bow hunting adventure that uh, will come under SEI's uh, introduced Africa animals.